Hey guys, Craig here. Um, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a fair while since um, I actually built anything, but from the last video you know why, why that is. Well, I've come across a couple of kits that I picked up pretty cheap. Um, and these are going to be entered into Perth's model show next year. Um, the first one we've got then is the Bronco um, Buffalo 6x6 with slat armour and spaced armour and the other one is the um, Meng Cougar 6x6 which we'll come on to shortly um, so this is just going to be a, an inbox review of the Buffalo to start with um, from there we'll finish the video on this one and then I'll do the inbox review of the Cougar but basically these two are going to go together um, so looking at the box then typical um, Bronco box Nice uh, picture out on the front. On the sides, it's got uh, the the pictures of telling you about the photo etch, the decals, age limit, and all that sort of stuff. Not much on the sides, um, just basically the box art. On this side, it's got CAD drawings showing you the stretcher, um, the crows, the spaced armor, the LED headlights and spotlights, and everything. And it's just a box art on this side as well. Oops. So opening the box then, as per normal, I've already been in it. I've taken everything out of the bags just for ease, so I'm not going to cut it open on camera. This thing is not for the faint-hearted. Um, let's get this lid off. So, first thing in the box then, you get this nice picture of the box art. Pretty much it's a poster, about A4 size. So that would be pretty nice in a frame or whatever, stick it on your wall. See, that's the first thing that comes out of the box. The second thing then is the instructions. And it is a huge instruction book. 39 pages with... Uh, let's have a look now. 67 steps plus the painting guide. Okay, We'll go through that in more detail at the end as normal. So looking in the box then, the box is absolutely jam-packed full. There's, there's a couple of things I've already quickly noticed about the thing that I'm not too keen on, but I'll cover that in a second. Um, so the first thing then that you see, you're going to get a huge slab of photo etch. I've left this in the, in the plastic case, just purely so it doesn't get damaged. But as you can see, it's quite a large fret and it's got every single um, detail you could possibly want on there. On this side on the other side it gives you a load of different um, different size strings for tubes and the like so that's in there this comes on a, a blue uh, what you call it a blue piece of card with another with another piece with the decals and that that's all stapled to a, a piece of card to keep it flat so that's pretty good so that's the photo etch that comes in the box the first two frets out then, or trees, whatever you want to call them, is two of the same and it's basically the wheels. <coughs> so we'll look at the first one. <coughs> so on here then, you can see the tyres. Uh, these are two pieces at the minute, however, it's actually not. You've got the seats and the seat backs on, this, on these two sprues. These are sprue F. You've also got the headrests and everything down here. You've got a couple of hub um, nuts and everything. You've got the wheel wheel arches and mud mud flaps and everything here. You've got more seat bases. Uh, I'm not sure what these are just yet. Basically, you get two sprues of F, which is exactly the same. They're totally identical. So looking at that, then the detail on that is absolutely spot on, as you'd expect from Bronco. Uh, even the tyres have got a fairly good um, detail going around with the with a sagging on them with, with the uh, central tyre inflation system that's on these things now rivets and nuts and everything on some of the smaller pieces like this one here part 28 spot on can't really complain at that and so far looking at these two sprues I can't see any flash um, just quickly flip it over both sprues are exactly the same and they're flash free which is pretty good 
So on those two two sprues, minimal cleaning already. The next two sprues out then, again these are exactly the same. Oops, and this is pretty much a lot of the um, the bar armor that goes on the sides. It's also got all the little tiny pieces, all the little um, connectors, handles, griblies, um, bars and stuff to attach the bar armor to the, the slab armor. We'll, we'll um, what do you call them? Mud flaps, wheel arches and the like. And the rest of it is just pretty much repeated on the other side. Again, on both sprues, absolutely no flash on any of them. Not that I can see talking to you anyway. A lot of tiny pieces. Um, a lot of tiny pieces. And as you can probably gather on some of these pieces, the actual tree connecting to the piece is the same thickness as the actual piece that you're cutting. <coughs> so looking at that, I'm going to have to be very, very careful trimming these pieces off of the, the sprue because I'm sure if you're not careful the carpet monster will get you um, so that's sprue M again two sprue M's the next one out of the box then is sprue N November and this is pretty much just the the spaced armor the slab armor as they call it on the box and more sort of like, like wheel arches and um, shaped armor pieces on that Looking at it, next to no flash and next to no injector pin marks. The, these injector pin marks in here, obviously you can't see them, but they're flat. They're, they're actually smooth, although you can see them just in the light. That's far, far better than what I've come across recently with like um, the Megan Bradley that I've done. <coughs> oh, sorry. And the Tacom 432. Coming on to the next sprue zone, we've got sprue D. And this is again a lot a lot of tiny pieces and this looks as though it's the the arm the the EOD arm so you've got the forks on the end you've got the main body of the the actual arm up here you've got all the little bars connectors griblies um, basically it's just the arm looking at all of that and all the hydraulic systems and everything that goes on that so a quick look at this again next to no flash on this side at least I know it's kind of hard to see but like most of you know I'm limited for space on this side same again actually there's a couple of little injector pin marks up here look just slightly raised this one but that that's easy picks off with a fingernail no big dramas there however that looks pretty good so that is sprue D, which is the the EOD arm. The next one out of the box then is sprue A. So this is pretty much the main um, part of the top hole. So you've got the main side of the vehicle here with the window slots. You've got the rear door and the bonnet, parts of the roof, bulkheads for inside, radiator grill. Um, basically just the side of the vehicle the interior of the actual vehicle itself I don't know if you can pick that up on camera it's got this nice checkered pattern for the the fabric inside which is like an anti-blast thing so if, if shrapnel was to hit this stuff's supposed to absorb it um, same on the back of there on that back door and then same on the insides of the, the windows. It's all covered in that same sort of um, anti-fabric stuff. Which is pretty good. So that's that sprue. The next three out of the box then is sprue SB. It's all the little LED lights to go on the side of the bar armour. That's also sprue SA. Which is probably the other side of the bar armor for the LED lights and then the next one is SG which looks as though it oops 
looks as though it's just sort of like little gribblies on the end, which I'm sure we'll find out, like latches or something. And these square bits are the, the LED headlights and the like, um, the square headlights. Square headlights are square LED lights for the um, bar armour. Next one out of the box then is Sprue V for Victor. And it is literally just the the majority of the bar armour. Um, not quite sure what this piece is yet, but I'm sure that will become apparent. It's got the little stretcher board here. Um, looks like it's part of the exhaust and the exhaust tip down here. And that's pretty much it. It's just pretty much all of the bar armour. Uh, so flipping this over, again, next, oh, there's a little bit of flash on here, look. That's just easy picked off with your finger, though. Really loose. Next to none on any of the other pieces, and there's very, very few injector pin marks. Um, however, looking at this bar armour, try and get in close on one. These pins here, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be trimmed or whatever. Or if they're supposed to be trimmed off. But we'll find out later on. No, they, no they're actually trimmed off. You can see they, they actually get trimmed off. So we'll, we'll move on from that one then. Next sprue out of the box. We have Sprue G. So this is more ladders down the bottom here. We've got personal weapons here. We've got interior pieces and loads of little gribblies little tiny tiny i'm not actually sure what they are because they're so small there's no detail on them it just looks like little little sort of like reflectors or something but they are tiny literally a pinprick uh we've got a windscreen surround here and what looks like to be a toolbox same script this is this looks as though it's the air filter um it's it's got the it's got the um vent on the inside so that looks as though it's the filter to go on top of the engine um not much else to tell you about this side it's exactly the same as all the other sprues very very crisp very very clean no flash on any of that at all no injector pin marks really good um I know it's kind of hard to see some of the detail on this because of the background and that. However, it's the best I can do. But you're going to get the general idea. Uh, what's this? Sprue U uniform. So it looks as though we've got the top of the bonnet over here or the underneath of it or something. Um, and half of these parts I can't even identify. No idea what any of it is yet. But it just looks as though it's sort of like grab handles, um, brackets, bulkheads, looks as though that's something to attach the, the armour to, the bar armour to, these two large pieces. Same again, absolutely nothing wrong with any of it, the detail is all very crisp, um, absolutely no complaints there, so it's just trying to get everything into focus for you to give you some sort of idea what this stuff looks like <clears throat> so that was sprue you next one out of the box is sprue b this looks as though it's more interior parts you got the um the con console there for the driver you've got a couple of hatches over here you've got some louvers and vents for the side of the bonnet down there this long piece looks as though it's the floor plan or floor, floor pan for the interior. We've got some control boxes here. Um, looks like the front bumper and possibly the rear bumper or the back of the front bumper. You've got the dashboard here. So this looks as though it's just pretty much all the interior control panels and the bumpers on this sprue. Uh, that looks as though it's part of the underneath for the chassis. Um, as you can see, the detail on it is absolutely fantastic. Again, check a plating on there. You, I don't know if you can actually see that, but the floor is actually... I um, don't know if it's going to... 
you can just about see it on the camera but this is actually it's actually got some grip on the floor there which is pretty good next one out of the box is Sprout N for November so this is the other part of N it's just literally just that which is the mud, the mud flaps and um, these bits of armour on the, the ends here so we've already been through that on the other end that we've done what we've got now is two E's, so E for Ecker, and this is, looks as though it's all the suspension. Um, down here, spring leaf suspension, running gear, legs, posts, hatches, um, hubs and everything down here, armour panels for the chassis. Little gribblies up here, handles and the like. Uh, I'm not sure what those pieces are. That looks as though it's something to do with the steering. Then you've got one of the axles there in two pieces. Then you've got recovery eyes for the tow cables. Looks like fuel filler caps on the end here. Um, again, some really, really little tiny pieces just here so small it's actually hasn't got any detail on it just a little little dot on it i don't know if you can see them very clearly on the camera <clears throat> but there's literally just a little dot and not much else that's <clears throat> this is sprue e two of those so as you can see guys, this has just gone on forever and ever and ever. Um, Sprue C is out of the box next. So we've got the rest of the axle, or another axle down here, so that must be the front axle. Then we've got drivetrain with the prop shafts. More components, armour plating. This is pretty much all the running gear. Gribblies that you would get on, on the running gear. Um, recovery eyes over this side just here then we've got steering wheel TV screen and some armor plates these looks like look as though they're the front wishbones for the suspension um, it looks as though we've got bits of exhaust up here as well so generally that sprue is mostly the running gear <laughs> next one out of the box is <clears throat> sprue T for Tango. <coughs> um, brrr, this looks as though it's just sort of like canvas covers and everything. You've got some more armor plating and everything up here. Not sure what any of that is. Just looks like handles and gribblies. Most of this is little pieces and gribblies. We've got what looks like um, a, an M249 saw going on. Looks like a, a radio or some control panels there. Um, not sure what that is yet, but I'm sure that will become apparent. A lot of this stuff is unidentifiable to me, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm not familiar with this particular vehicle, as it's, it's not something I've ever been in, seen or used. Um, but some of these pieces, it doesn't look similar to anything. I think what a lot of this is up here looks as though it's the, the turret for the main weapon. Um, and down here is just brackets and handles and stuff down here. But again, like everything else, there's no flash, no nothing, no injector pin marks. Um, it looks fairly good. Everything's crisp and clean. Can't really knock it up to this point. The next sprue out of the box then is sprue J. So this is more bar armour, more armour panels, and more spaced armour, or slab armour, whatever you want to call it on the box. Same again, absolutely nothing wrong with it. No flash, no damage. The detail again is spot on crisp. I know it's kind of hard to see this, but again, sorry. 
It's actually got some really intricate cut out patterns here for pieces. I don't, I don't know if that's going to zoom in well enough. That's pretty funky how they've managed to do that. To cut that shape out and something so small. Uh, it's got all sorts of location marks coming down the side here for the bar armour to attach to. Next out of the box we have Sprue EC. And this looks as though it's like a personal radio, some control panels, um, some armour plate for probably this stuff to attach to. Um, not sure what that is. Looks like a, a radio of some sort. This piece here. This piece here looks like a bit of a radio. And that's about as much as I can tell you about that for now. But everything on it is really crisp. Pretty good. Next out of the box, we have one bag of clear parts. So we've got, as per normal, I usually leave them in the little plastic so they don't get damaged or lost. We've got three pieces of clear on there. You also get a sprue of water bottles, which is pretty cool. So that saves buying some from Ming to get some water bottles for it. Next out then is a load of clear piece, pieces for the LED lights that we showed you earlier on. The round ones and the square ones. So there's three sprues of that in there. Next out of the box we have the big sprue of clear parts which is all the headlights, all the glass for the um, the cabin and everything, the windscreen. And all the light, you've got the headlights down here. I know you can't really see it that well because of the bag, but trust me, they're there. The little covers for the um, antennas and that on the roof and windscreen and everything. The only thing I will say on the clear parts, they are clear. There is no option of having coloured glass with this, um, like blues or greens or whatever. So you'd have to paint that yourself <clears throat> to be that tinted armoured glass. Next out of the box is the tub for the chassis. Um, a couple of big injector pin marks in the bottom here. Just here, but I'm sure they won't, won't make any difference or make much matters to you. It's hard to see the detail on this because the, the plastic's just so thin that you can see your finger through it with a light. But, um, it's got all the details on there. Good location points for the pieces that you're putting on. You can see the V-shaped armour on there and the V-shaped hull at the bottom, which is pretty good with all the access panels and that. Um, part of the engine block down here, armoured engine block. A little bit of um, clean-up to do there, but that's it, nothing else. All the location points for the rear suspension and the like. And that's pretty much that. Um, and then... You've got the location point on the front there for the bonnet and everything to attach to in the front of the vehicle. So that's the main tub. Next out of the box then that wasn't attached to anything is the main weapon which is a 50 cal. Um, it looks as though you just put the barrel on the end and the handles. Let's try and get that to zoom in a little bit. And as you can see on the front it is hollow. Um, in the barrel there which is pretty cool to get all those little tiny holes and some are so small but that's the main weapon next out of the box is the other part of the wheels so the actual tread to the vehicle are these you have to cut these out of the middle um, and then you put the two, part, two pieces of wheel together then that over the top and that gives you your tread so that's pretty good for painting, I suppose. Pretty good for being able to sand it. Um, I'm not a big fan of this. I'd have preferred the rubber wheels. I know many people would prefer resin wheels. Um, but the detail on it is absolutely second to none. That is some chunky tread on there. Even down to having the wear indicators actually inside the tread. Um, you can't really tell, but... In between the end lugs, you can actually see the wear indicators. So if you just keep sanding it down, you'll eventually get a worn tyre um, to the legal limit. 
So you get six of those. And we've still got some more to come out of the box yet. So that's the last part of the tyres. You've got the main tub for the top of the vehicle. Comes with the door and everything. We've got a bit of trimming to do here to get these bits of sprue off. Got a little bit of trimming to do here where it's been injection, uh, the injection point. It's got quite a few injection markings in the roof, but you're never going to see it. They are actually smooth. There's there's nothing there. You can see where the points were, but that's pretty much it. Detail on the side, absolutely phenomenal, especially around the windows with all the um, location points where the metal bracket sticks the glass to the actual armour. Um, same on the back, you've got some nice hinges and everything moulded for the rear door and the little bump stops and everything for the door. And then on the roof, it's got some nice detailing around the hatches um, with all the little rivets and everything and some texture going down the middle on this strip here. Uh, and that's pretty much the tub for the top of the vehicle. And finally, the last piece out of the box is the decals. Um, it has got the backing paper on the front still. However, that's the only decals you get with it. So a lot of it looks as though it's interior sort of instrument panel stuff with the odd bit of stenciling here and there. And that my friends is everything out of the box um, so let's put it all back in so you can see everything going back in to give you some idea of scale of this thing let's get them out of the way because this box was packed in a certain way so everything fits let's put them back into where they were okay so Let's count the sprues as we go in. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 sprues, a fret photo etch, a Gucci poster, and the instruction manual, which we'll have a look at now. So that's what you get in the box. I know it's hard to see everything. I keep going on about it, but hey ho. Instruction manual then, like I said before, it's 39 pages, as you can see. It's glossy, nice to touch. It's not like paper. So that's pretty nice. All stapled together. Opening the, the actual instruction manual then. You've got coloured chart down here, giving you Mr. Hobby, Hobby Colour, Humbrol and Tamiya colours. It's got a sprue guide on this page. Let's try and maybe zoom that in a little bit. Like that. Next page then is the rest of the sprue guide over here. So you've got two pages of that, plus a decal sheet, plus the photo etch. So looking at step one then, it's pretty much all of the tub and a lot of gribblies for the suspension. Step two is rear suspension. Step three, it's glossy and everything's reflecting off of it. Step three is the front suspension, more on the rear suspension. And it starts going into the axles in step four. Step five is drivetrain, 
and more rear suspension components here. It's had, again, let's move this camera slightly back a little bit. There we go, that might be a bit easier. So step five is all the arms and that for the rear suspension for the rear two axles. Step six is prop shafts and diff locks. Step seven is front axle and prop shafts. Eight is putting it all to the chassis. And then it's got a little color guide down here showing you how the um, drive shaft should connect. Step nine. Don't even know what step nine is. It looks as though it's part of. We'll find out in probably step ten. I don't know what step nine is. Ah, it's the gearbox housing. So you've got the V-shaped armor to go around the gearbox housing, and then all your drivetrain goes through that. Step eleven is looking as though it's the bumper mount and recovery points. As you can see, guys, this is a monster build. So this is the tyres, how it all goes together. So you've got the outer, the inner, a spacer, a hub, the outer with a tread, the hub at the front with all the bolts, and that's times four on that one. And then on this one is the front wheels, which is times two. So you've got the outer, the inner, the hub, and the tread. And then you're connecting that to the drivetrain that you've just put on. Step 14 is starting to do the interior of the tub with that floor that we showed you just now with all the checker plate on. And then it goes on to some gribblies on the outside. And then it's starting to come into photo etch now. On the bottom, step 11, oh, whatever that was. Step 16 is more interior with the driver compartment and the mountains for the seats coming down here. Then you've got a bulkhead going on at the back. You've got personal weapons that it's telling you mount on the wall. Um, then you're coming into the crow system down here for the main weaponry. Oops. Still onto the crow system here, so you're coming into the doing all the actual oh the actual paneling for the side, the bit that connects to the vehicle. I'm having a proper brain fart today, guys. Basically, what you're building is this, the crow system. Okay. Um, wow. Step 19 is more interior, more interior. Then we're looking at rear recovery points and whatever that is at the back. More recovery points. Let's just blast through this a bit quicker now because we've gone over 33 minutes. So step 21 is there. I'm not even going to talk about it. Radiator. 22. More interior seats is step 22. Step 23 is bumper. 24, you get another colour diagram showing you how this thing goes together, which is pretty much all of the front bumper and the radiator. 25, and a lot of photo etch for 25, so it looks like it's a control panel. Then we're on to 26, which is the slats for the bonnet interior pieces for the glass um, bulkheads more photo etched down here for the bonnet 27 is fitting the crows to the um, hatch on the top then we've got windscreen fitting the bonnet placing it all onto the interior friend or foe system uh, blue force tracker goes in on the front then you're fitting the sides sides to the bonnet Step 28, you're starting to come into the wheel arches. Then you can have all the hatches open on the top, what it's telling you. 
29 is saying open position for what well, we have got the open position for. Um, oh, for the hatches, if you want these hatches open, it's showing you here. Open position, you'd use E65, E63 for close. 30, you're starting to build all the stuff for the bar armor, all the lights and everything going on. And you've got photo etch going around the lights here. You've got a spotlight at the top. You've got what looks like the exhaust going on here. Tanks and all sorts going on there, left side, right side. Then you've got photo etch flooring and stuff to go in. Then it's starting to go into the rear basket for the, the sides at the back here. So you've just built that. Then you've got all the gribblies going down the side of the vehicle here. Then onto the rear door at step 34. 35 is rear lights. Also under 35 comes the front of the vehicle up here. Then you'll be on a photo etch ladder in step 36. 37 is all about the rear door and all the brackets to go on there. 38 is fitting the ladder and everything to the back and this um, engraved um, piece of plastic for this for the chassis number or whatever that's pretty cool 39 is all the antennas for the um, radio systems and IED systems and all that sort of stuff step 40 then you're now starting to come onto the actual arm 41 is everything to do with the arm and putting that together so that's that's pretty much a kit on its own Step 42 is finishing off the arm, up there. 43 is open, closed, in and out for the arm and the hydraulics. 44 is putting extra armour on the windows, armour panelings to go around the windows. 45 is the slab armour and all the brackets to attach that to the hull. 46 is the other side, over here. 47 is slab armour again. 48 is a mimic of the other one that we've just shown you, fitting that to the side of the vehicle. 49 is fitting the LED lights and brackets and all sorts to the bar armour. 50 is pretty much all the lights fitted and how to put the bar armour together. 51 is all the brackets to go on the inside of the bar armour. Wow. Fitting said armour to vehicle. Then you're on to the other side on 53, 54 and 55 is a complete same. 56 is the front slab ar um the front bar armour. 57 is the open position or closed position for the rear of the vehicle. It shows you how to do that in step 58, placing that on the back of the vehicle. So it's basically getting you to build this door so you can get in and out of the vehicle still. 59 is the digger extension, the digger in extension um, position. I want to use these black soft pipes, which actually is not black soft pipes, but string. The folded position, if you want the um, arm to be in the folded position. Then you've pretty much got the last few bits of bar armour going on the front of the vehicle. 62 is the same, just fitting the last pieces of the bar armour. You've got some brackets to go on here in step 63. Step 64 is finished. Whew. 65, however, it gives you the option of adding extra lights and extra slab and bar armour. And where you can fit that in 66 and 67. Is just the extra lights so you can have the whole front of the vehicle like a Christmas tree. Then page 38 is placement of the decals on the crows and painting guide for the crows. And page 39 at long last is the rest of the decals 
on the vehicle and the painting guide and lights, how to paint the lights. And that is us. That is the full book for the Buffalo with slat armour. So that is going to be an interesting build. If that wasn't enough, I've got the Edward Anti-IED um, sensor for the front of it as well. Um, it's saying it's for the Rhino, but we'll get it to we'll get it to fix. Um, and that's pretty much everything for the Buffalo. So that's one of two. The second one we'll do, not in this video, is we've got the um, we've got the Meng Cougar six by six vehicle, um, but we'll talk about that more in the next video as soon as we finish with this because it's approaching forty minutes just on an unboxing. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video for this. Um, I'll do a build log on this because this is going to be. A substantial build. Let's just stop talking while I put that together. That's going to take a fair while to build that. That is obviously not for the faint of heart, and it's not something that if you've never built a model before, you want to attempt because there's super tiny pieces in that. It's very complicated, very intricate. I wouldn't recommend it for a novice. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll do a build log on that one. So anyway guys, that's me for now. I shall speak to you in the next video, which will be the main cougar. Any questions, comments, please do that below. If any of you can identify some of these pieces in this thing that I, I, couldn't, under, I couldn't see, point me in the right direction because I'm not familiar with this vehicle. And I shall speak to you in the next video then guys. Thanks for your time and... Speak to you shortly.